Fuad says, is it permissible to study and practice law in a non-Muslim country? The laws that you study in university are all man-made laws. And we know that in Islam, only Sharia law is valid and halal. And any man-made law is prohibited and a major sin. But in practicality, if a person is living in the West and this is something that he can study and inevitably Muslims would need to use it because they live in the West. They need to go to courts. They need someone to represent them and fight for their rights or defend them from any accusations that are not real. And you can't do this without a lawyer. So if a lawyer, if a person studies law in order to defend what is right in accordance to Islamic law, I believe that this is permissible and it's halal. So if you know that a Muslim needs to get his rights from a partner who took his money, who, who cheated him, and he needs you to represent him and you see that the case is legit and that he has all the rights and he's the oppressed, there's nothing wrong, inshallah, in uh, uh, defending him and calling for his rights, providing that you do not exceed the limit. So, for example, if there are damages, some damages are ridiculous. So, yes, I have been cheated by my partner and my partner took $100,000 from me. I've got the documents, the lawyer goes to court and it's proven the judge gives me my 100,000 back. But my lawyer says we need also a million dollar in compensation for damages. Now, this is haram. So the lawyer is not allowed to go out of the Sharia law after securing his right, the 100,000, the million is not his right because this is taking people's money without any legitimate reason and Allah knows best.